Mike here. Gabriella. And Nicholas. And we are Bali, Bali Yoga. Yoga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So the studio of Bali Yoga started in Kirkland uh, about a little over five years ago. And at the time, you know, I was a lifestyle coach and wellness coach and wanted to create a community. Um, in, in this Kirkland area that I went to high school and I felt like we needed a community uh, there like Bali Yoga and so I had this vision uh, and started creating the studio and it really just took off and you know I've gotten everything from beginners coming in all the time to very advanced teachers and they they all feel like they're welcome it's a very welcoming community and a place where anyone can practice and I think that was my one thing I wanted to really it's still in the studio and that's been, it's, it's, it hasn't changed, it's really been a place for anyone to come practice and I didn't start as a, uh, you know, master yoga teacher, it was, I was just a student of yoga as well and I think that was a big part as I was learning yoga as well with my students and with my teachers, so, um, and then we're, we've grown, it's been five years, we've done retreats, teacher trainings, uh, remodels, you know, rebranding the site and the company. And it's all about what our uh, students and the feedback we've gotten. Like, we want this, we want this. And what kind of workshops do you want? Okay, let's try it. You know, if you want sound bath healing with some dancing or whatever it is, I mean, we'll, we'll bring it and see if, if, how people respond to it. So, yeah, it's really uh, yoga for the people, you know. That's, that's what I like about Bala. You know, we're trying to give yoga that everybody wants. We want everyone to be welcome. It's definitely yeah and then my go. my wife has been a huge part of the organization of the business and and definitely how we've uh, how, how we've grown and we've done some remodels and the place has really transformed since it started five years ago yeah and so I would say with all of our sort of um, studio designs and the feel of the retail and the lounges was definitely a place for community so we like to have lots of little areas for people to hang out and feel like they can stick around before and after class and create community, get to know each other, have some tea, sit down, talk about your day or your class or your practice um, and really just enjoy each other's company and be there for more than just their yoga class or more than to just pick up a mat or whatever they're there for. And we met this Aussie just yes. around the studio. <laughs> yeah, we, we met and uh, you know, from from day one, me and Mike kind of had a connection. And, it was the same uh, birthday. Yeah, we were born on the same day. And uh, <laughs> I loved Bala from the beginning. And I thought it was just a great place to practice yoga. And then um, one thing led to another. And, you know, we decided to partner for Bala Seattle. So five years later, finally had the courage to do another one and part of that courage came from business partner Nick here willing to do it with me and do it with Gabriella and so we we, uh, we picked a location here in Wallingford Fremont <laughs> Fremont ish we're gonna create a new like name that encompasses both areas but uh, we love both areas and Google both <laughs> yeah and uh, we you know this, this area has energy, kind of like Kirkland that we felt, and it was different, you know? So we're just like, and it was an area I think that wasn't oversaturated, I think. You know, we're not trying to go in and step on anyone's toes, which is, this is our community now here. The students that we've lost moving to Seattle mm. have said wanted to practice with us, but who's gonna cross the bridge from, you know, from here? Mm. So now we open the doors, little marketing, and people are just coming, so we're happy. Yeah, we've had a really warm welcome from everyone, which which we love, and everyone's been really welcoming and uh, happy that we're here, which is kind of what we predicted in our, in our vision, and that's why we picked the area. So 108 is a beautiful community as well that uh, doesn't take a physical space in a studio, but online world, and it's a yoga lifestyle platform, I'd say. Uh, we chose to use the word 108 and nothing associated directly with the word yoga because sometimes people hear yoga and they think you know you have to be very flexible you, you know it's going to be all about this physical asana practice so 108 a very sacred number one being 
oneness, O being nothingness, eight being everythingness. Very sacred number. Uh, 108 beads on, bead, <laughs> 108 beads on the mala, and there's 108 stitches on a baseball. There's 108 everywhere. So I think it's a number that doesn't get appreciated as much or something as much as Namaste or Om, you know, it's, it's, but it is a sacred number. Uh, so the 108 website and community is where you can go and watch videos not only on yoga asana but also all things healing, uh, therapy, body image specialists are on there, eating disorder specialists, we have meditation experts. Uh, so it's a community of all things and whatever people need to reach out and, and need for that for themselves, they can find it there. And it got started with um, our friend Rachel Braden, she's known as Yoga Girl in the community. Um, she's a big Instagram uh, figure and she and I and Gabriella kind of came together on like a, with her husband on a trip to Aruba and uh, we kind of just manifested this idea, it's like what if we could share this gift that we all love about yoga so much and with so many other people. And with her reach of two million people, we could really put this video quality uh, content out there to reach millions of people. And so we've done it. We did a Kickstarter campaign. We did a hugely successful campaign. We have over 6,000 people that backed us. Um, and so all those people have put their faith in us. They have subscribed to the site. They're trying out the site. They're watching the videos. They're telling us what they love about it. They're telling us what they want to see about it. So it's been it's been really exciting, and it's a totally different business, you know. But it is uh, it's been fun learning and growing with that. And um, it's definitely a great way. It's another option for people that maybe don't have access to a yoga studio in their community, um, or they you know they maybe can't afford a yoga studio, or they're young, 15, 16 years old, and they, they can't have their parents take them to a yoga class each week. So it's just another way to get people practicing more yoga, hopefully, and then also find other forms of healing through the other houses on the site, Move, Calm, Nourish, and Explore, so. She said it. <laughs>